please uh, join me in welcoming the director, Dorit Hakim, as well as the actress who plays Mira, Yuval Scarf. Thanks so much uh, to both of you for coming here from Israel to talk about the film. Um, I'll start by asking you, Dorit, this is your first feature, so perhaps we could just start talking about what inspired you to write and direct uh, your first feature film. Um, I think, hi, good evening. Um, uh, hello, yeah, good <laughs> afternoon. Um, I was, um, I felt the need to make this story because it has some connection with my own life. And um, I was um, carrying that story with me since I, f I finished film school. And I couldn't just leave it. I, every time I start something new, I was coming back to it. And I think I needed to do some kind of a closure. And when my father passed away, I had I felt like it's t this is the right time to do it. So I already had the script, but I went for, for to produce it. It seems in some ways that because the, the two sisters come across so convincingly that these roles were crafted specifically for the two actors. I'm wondering if you happen to have them in mind when you were writing and directing the film, and also a question for Yuval, what was it like to, uh, how did you come onto the project, and what was it like to work here with uh, Dorit? You'll be first. Uh, um, yeah, I, I always had, I mean, I, it, it wasn't easy to find the two sisters. I mean, uh, I had to let go of my, the two sisters I had in, in, my, in my imagination. But uh, once I found them, they were, they were perfect. And what was it like to work with uh, Dorit on the project? It seems like you transformed so much from the beginning of the film to the end. Was there a process involved in preparing for, for the role? Yeah, it's two different questions. But uh, <laughs> uh, first of all, I don't have a sister. Um, I have two brothers. Uh, so Lenny is like my sister uh, that I wanted, wanted me to have. Uh, and I feel that I earned like two sisters in this movie. One is Dorit, and the other one is Yara, which is my sister Lenny. Uh, it was we were like a uh, woman power, uh, it, and it was so um, good experience for me to work with with Dorit uh, as a director. As a um, she wrote the script, so it was uh, it was really powerful to work like three of us together and we had really interesting process uh, through the process. <laughs> 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 uh, and, and Mira is, you know, she's very uh, complex character. Uh, as you said, she started from one point and she finished in a different point and it was, it was amazing for me to get this role and to, to, um, to be with her like throughout the movie and she takes off the shield and we can see her softness, her, uh, her heart and I think that behind the edginess and the um, night, n like uh, she's like a nightlife and everything, like behind the black, the black makeup, uh, she just, Needs Under someone to hug her, you know, yeah. and she's looking for love and she's looking for home and she finds it at the end. Like the reality forces her to deal with, with what she ran away from. We can actually um, open up to some questions from the audience. Yes, ma'am, right here. Sorry, the question is what did she actually run away from in that scene in the beginning? Um, she runs away from her, from, from the guilt that she's carrying uh, about what happened to her stepmom. That was the, you know, that was the main reason. But I think she's running away from, from her family because she didn't have a, a happy childhood or a good relationship with her father. And she just couldn't stay at that place. So... I mean, but eventually you run f she was running away from her identity, from where she belonged to, from, from being part of, 
Um, yeah. Did she run away because they neglected the stepmother after she yes. died? Yes. Yes. She's asking. Uh, I mean, do you ask if she has, f if she, f if she did something to the stepmother? Yes. I mean, yes. She. D I mean, I'm leaving that a little bit vague, but I think what I, what I, th what I mean to say is that it's, it's in the movie. It's vague and it's, um, um, it should be vague, but. The reason what really happened is that she and her little she took her little sister out of the house, and the little sister sh Lenny shouldn't be leaving the mother because she was needed she needed someone to supervise her because she was sick, and when they left the house something happened to the mother and there was no one there to help her or to call you know the hospital, to the ambulance. There's a question in the middle. It was already. Was the film released in Israel? Yes, yes. I hope I hope so, but I can't give you the date yet. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Where Israel. was the, the film filmed? That's something it seemed like it could have been in any s place. There wasn't anything particularly um, in terms of this, the location of the film. It didn't seem particularly recognizable as Israeli. And also in terms of the time period, it also seemed to be a bit vague. There wasn't, like there was a cell phone, but it was in a, a small town. It felt like it could have been in any moment in time from the past few decades. Was that something that you had in mind? And you can also address that qu her question as well. So the film was, was uh, shot in, I mean, I shot the film in Israel. In a, in a moshav near, uh, not far away from Tel Aviv, it's called Yeshuvah Igderot, uh, Moshav Shdema, if someone uh, familiar with that place. Um, and I think the time is kind of now, because they do have iPhones in the film. And, <laughs> and um, I didn't want it to be, a pr I didn't want people to say, oh, I know this place, or oh, I've been there. I want it to be like a movie, so you, you will feel it. You've been, you've been invited to a, f an, a world that you don't know, that you, you will need to explore and to be curious about. So maybe that's why. But it's, it's happening in a moshav. It talks about that thing that happened now in Israel where uh, moshav becomes like a very, People need, you know, selling their homes for a lot of money, and and uh, a different kind of people are coming to the moshav, and the farmers are leaving those areas. So it it has some relevance to to Israel today. Uh, yes, sir. How old is Lenny supposed to be in the movie? She's twenty one. Yes, right there. So a question about the plot line of the story and was it more about this, the loss of the mother or the relationship with the stepmother? Um, so what was the question? I was really a question happy. about... No, no, I, yeah. I, I, am, I mean, the light here is really strong yeah. and I can't see who's talking. I think the, this viewer is interested in learning the motivation for the, the tragedy of the film. Was it more crafted around the loss of the mother or the uh, strained relationship with the stepmother? Oh. I think it's both. I think it's the loss and also the fact that they were, they were abused by the stepmother and that the father was not very uh, protective uh, on both of them. I think it deals with a lot of those, but um, it's for me, it's a lot about, it's mostly about their relationship and, the, and their need to, to, to get back to each other and to overcome the past. Um, yes. Yeah, so I, I think it's a question partly about the production design of the film and the details, such as the smoke in the club. I mean, how finely tuned was that? Uh, maybe you could talk a bit about the cinematography of the film. And I guess just to add to that, I, a question about the editing, like the scenes in the beginning, I felt were particularly powerful when you were moving between um, the quiet uh, living room where Lenny was having a, a copy and the very loud, bo uh, boisterous, uh, eventful club. 
Um, so maybe you could talk about production design and cinematography. Um, I tried to make, for me it was very important that the way the movie shot and the cinema photography of it will, will express their feelings, the, the inner feeling of the characters and that's why we made those choices. And, and, um, and the nightclub was really, I mean it's always dark obviously and people smoke there and there is no kind of rules. So maybe that's why you saw it this way. Um, if it's in, today you can't smoke, by the way, in Israel, anywhere indoor. You can only smoke outdoor, by the way. Even that in clubs, and it's uh, very. So, um, also the film, for example, like you, you've all mentioned it before, at the beginning of the film, she only wear black and she has a lot of makeup. And during the film, when she come back home, she starts taking off her makeup. At the end of the film, she has no makeup at all. She doesn't even have a black mascara on her eyelashes. She's kind of becoming more and more neutral and, and clean. And, and, she, and, her, and she start wearing her sister clothes for too. So we, we did that process with her. And also we did the, the, the opposite process with Lenny, which starts the film when she looks a little bit awkward with these old clothes and you can't really tell her age. Some people ask me if she's older than Mira because she looks like, she looks, she looks heavy, you know, like she has this heavy energy. Or other people ask me how young she is. So, but, and at the end she become more feminine because she needs to grow up. She needs to, um, to come to know, you know, to be in her age, because she is running away from from growing up. She's avoiding, she's avoiding the time. She wants to stay that little child. So, yeah, I try to give those those process uh, also um, answers or or um, visibility in in how I'm you know shot the film. Yes, please. A question about the ending of the film and how it leaves Thank us you. with with a very big question. Yeah, and and can you speak about leaving the ending as vague or not as vague as it is? No, I think the narrative is important, but it's not the main thing. The main thing is how it's it's their feeling. It's the way they 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 meet themselves and the way they meet their past and the way they overcome the past and. For me, it was very important that at the end, both of them changed. I mean, they, they made some process, they made some developing. And, um, and she came back home, but the home is not just that place, that, that house. Home is being forgiving, forgiving, yeah. forgiving her father and, and, and bonding ba with her sister. And she's a fire, you know? Indeed. Lenny is water mm -hmm. and she's a fire. Not just because he has a red head. She's <laughs> a fire anyway. <laughs> we can do a couple more questions. Yes, in the white sweater. This is a comment from someone who is Israeli and uh, saw the movie and understood the Hebrew and a comment on the translation, how she feels it didn't carry the same uh, emotion as, as the Hebrew, the English subtitles. So I don't know if you want to address that. Uh, I'm sorry, I mean, I did my best. <laughs> but I think always when you hear something, you have the, you know, the, intui the intonation, intona how do you say intona intonation? Intonation. Intuition. Tells you a lot. And, and when you read it, it's like for me, yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> yes. Last question right there in the middle. <laughs> This is a question for the uh, filmmaker. Is, is she Mira question. or Lenny? I think I'm more Mira. Uh, yes, it is in fact. Um, it carries a lot of my experience in life. I mean, not the narrative one to one, but I did have a broken home and a difficult childhood. And, and I had an abusive stepmother. Um, but I wasn't like telling my own story, okay? But. Um, I think I was Mira mostly in my life. I did run away. I did have, uh, I, I did had borrowed identity. Okay, like we can say so. Um, but I'm also Lenny in a way. So I'm 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 a mix of both of them. 
Can you talk about um, what you're currently working on, uh, <laughs> the both of you? Uh, I'm writing. S I'm writing a new project now, which I'm not sure where it will be a, m a screenplay or a novel. It's about. It's a. It's a f It's funny. It's not so heavy and dark. <laughs> And it's about the years I spent in the U.S. I was living in the States for a few years in California. It's about uh, being uh, a stranger and not being in your own country and what happens to you when you, when you relocate your life to here. And Yuval is uh, coming up with a lot of new projects, but she can, she can tell you about it. Uh, a lot of projects in Israel. <laughs> And I hope to come again with a different project also. And I'm working on a new series for the BBC and the AMC, uh, which will uh, go out in um, 2018, so in a year from now, something like that. And it's really nice, and uh, it's a good project, so I'm very happy. And we'll look out for that. Yeah. And thanks so much, Thank Yuval you so and Dorit, for, for being here. Thank you.